Hey, it's Neville here. And I want to talk to you about my decision to relearn to type because I think this is going to take me several months to relearn how to type correctly. I currently chicken peck. That means I use two fingers to type on the keyboard. I mean, I use my thumb for the space bar, but besides that, I use two fingers. And this makes my typing kind of top out at a certain speed. And that speed is about 70 words per minute. Now, admittedly, that is a little bit faster than the average speed, but I want to get to over a hundred words per minute. I want to do this because I think it helps me work faster. I can type my thoughts down faster. I can type emails faster. I can log into sites faster. I can just do things faster if I type correctly. Also, at the current rate of how much I type, it kind of gets a little exhausting to move my hands that much. And with the proper way of writing, you don't you move your hands as much. So I decided to relearn to type and I don't think I could do it my, myself. So what I did was I put the word out for a typing coach. Well, it turns out there's not a huge industry for that for some reason. And uh, my friend Noah from okdork.com volunteered. Now Noah types at over a hundred words per minute. So he walks the walk. So I decided to go with them. He created a process for me that was pretty simple. It's 20 minutes a day and it's with these three different sites. So here's the process that I'm using and I'm up to about 40% of my target goal of hundred words per minute. So number one, for 15 minutes per day, I use Rata type, that's R-A-T-A type.com, free site, sign up for it. And it starts just going through these lessons and it tracks your progress. And it basically will teach you where to put your finger, where each finger should hit. So at first it's like type the letter S, type the letter L, type the letter K, type the letter S, L, K, over and over and over and over and over. And it just hammers into your head which of the letters to write. Then as the lessons progress, it makes you type words out in repetition. And so right now, without looking at the keyboard, I kind of just instinctively know which finger should hit which key. And that's mainly thanks to Ratatype. It's it's quite a remarkable site. If you want to practice your um, your typing, I really suggest it. The other one that he said to use is for four minutes per day. So Ratatype was 15 minutes per day. This one's for four minutes per day, and that's key BR. So K-E-Y-B-R.com. And it basically makes you type in random strings of nonsense letters, and it figures out which letters you are having the most trouble on. Once again, you should sign up for the site, it's free, and it tracks your progress. And you can watch your typing speed go up over time and accuracy go up over time. Because what I've realized is you can type really fast, but if you're not very accurate, it just slows you down a bunch. So I'm really, really trying to learn my foundational basics and get each key down to a T. And then the last one is for one minute per day, I use 10fastfingers.com. So that's just a one minute speed typing test. So after I do Rata type for 15 minutes, and after I do keyboard for four minutes, I do 10fastfingers.com for one minute and just track my progress in a log of how fast I've done. Also, you could sign up for that site and it also tracks your progress. So those are pretty simple things to do. And I will say I have actually improved my typing speed quite a bit. And here's a funny, weird side effect. My chicken peck typing speed has actually gone up because now instead of one finger, I kind of know where the keys are. So I'm not so much chicken typing, chicken peck typing as much these days. I'm more like a hybrid, like proper slash chicken peck. Now, if I need to write really fast, my brain just reverts to the chicken peck. So I'm trying my best to start writing certain emails that, you know, I'm not that rushed to, to send in normal writing and it's working. So the first few days I was stuck at about 20 to 25 words per minute typing correctly, which is half the average speed. And then I started going up to the thirties and I got stuck there for about nearly two weeks before I started breaking into the upper thirties, like a little above 30. And now I'm about 40 words per minute in that range, like high thirties, forties, and then it goes up and down. But it's been really, really interesting to learn to type correctly because I realize as I'm doing some of these exercises, except especially keyboard.com, that one, I realize how fast it is to type the correct way. Like you could tell someone thought this out versus my chicken peck where it'll take forever for me to type a string of characters. But with the proper way, 
I could bang it out in like two seconds. It's pretty awesome. So I am learning to type correctly. It's uh, it's really interesting. It's kind of like a little brain game. Um, my brain already knows how to type in a certain way and I'm relearning, which is very interesting. So I find that kind of cool. Anyways, if you want to follow along um, and see all the links, if you want to follow along my progress, see all the links that I'm talking about, you can go to copywritingcourse.com slash relearn dash how dash to dash type, or just type in copywriting course, relearn how to type. And you can see all my progress and the curriculum that my good friend Noah laid out. Thanks, Noah. Really appreciate the help on this. And I will be hopefully on my way to 100 words per minute. And a lot of people in the comments have said that they're joining in and, and trying this too. So they're getting a lot of value out of just learning a little bit better how to type. It makes things go faster and um, hope you'll join me too. So anyways, this has been part of my little podcast series. If you want to check out my personal blog, it's nevblog.com, N-E-V-B-L-O-G.com. And then my copywriting site is copywritingcourse.com, misspelled with Ks. So if you want to find me there, check it out and I'll talk to you later. Bye.